Franklin, Hitchcock, Angelina Pena. A defensive pin, now will go to 130 pounds. And 130, Kalen Hitchcock, another big bracket. Pena's had two pins and a decision. Hitchcock, two pins and two decisions. Pena in the red, Hitchcock in the blue. Hitchcock going on that two on one tie. Pena trying to create separation and she does. <laughs> one ten left in the first. We are just tuning in, you missed 125. Maybe a little controversial, maybe not. Well, Michaela Benson tried to bring pace to her back when she was in the top position and she exposed her back. Put her own shoulders flat to the mat and pinned herself. And that's how pace picked up the win at 125. We're now at 130 though, a brand new match for these 2024 USA Wrestling Junior Girls Division, Folk Style Nationals here at the UNI Dome on the beautiful campus of the University of Northern Iowa. 19 seconds left here in the first. I'd like to thank our sponsors, U.S. Air Force Special Warfare, Pure Clean Sports, Dolomer, Sports Surfaces, Pin TV. Time expires in the first. Hitchcock will pick down to start our seconds. We'd also like to thank American Scale Company, proud sponsor of the 2024 USA Wrestling 16U and Junior Folk Style Nationals. Pena will go to work here from the top. No score in our first. Had, has not happened much at all in these finals so far. Uh, these girls had just been going after it matches ago, but right now, a rare 0-0 start. It's Pena. We'll start in the top position after Hitchcock picked down. Pena though. Will tug on that right arm and come across the body. You're looking for a Kelly Fireman's. Trying to cover the hips, lock it nicely. We'll reset on our feet. Hitchcock leads 1-0. Pena has that collar tie on them from the right side with that same elbow. Pena tried with that takedown attempt. Great job by Hitchcock, sprawling, staying in that front head position. And now she'll try to penetrate forward with that. 20 seconds left here in the seconds. Stalemate call, we'll reset and go right back up on our feet. About well, five seconds to go here in the second period. And we'll go to the third and final period. 1-0 lead for Hitchcock after getting an escape in the second. Bottom set, top cover. Hitchcock will take on from the left side. First time we'll see her from the top position. You see a lot of arm bars. You see a lot of halves. A lot of textbook wrestling here from these girls. They're doing a great job of staying behind the elbows, being taught the simple stuff, and definitely doing a gross girls final, which was probably, wow, 2019, where it was the Iowa Coaches Association Girls State Tournaments. It was at Waverly Shell Rock. And the color guy just told me a great thing that I've gone on from ever since is that girls just do a great job of listening. They can be taught so much easier than guys. And it is the truth. They definitely take direction well. 
very smart on taking direction, listening and learning, and a lot of these girls have been able to perfect that arm bar series, that halves, just been doing well of just textbook wrestling. And right now, this is, it's just a tough ride from Hitchcock, staying behind the elbows, doing a great job. <coughs> 52 seconds left in the third. <coughs> a lot of these girls, there's freshmen in high school that are winning college tournaments. The women's wrestling is bright. The future is bright for this sport as we have a lot of young ladies that are learning at a very young age. And a lot that have, may have been wrestling with the boys for a long time and now transitioning to wrestling with the girls. And it's been a great, great thing to be a spectator and to broadcast as well. Because this sport definitely has a bright future. Hitchcock's got to stay behind the elbows, though. Great job by Pena, rotating on her head, staying, trying to face Hitchcock. The Hitchcock. Hitchcock hasn't given up a point yet. 24 seconds left. This tough ride, staying behind the elbows. Now Pena will now try to come around this right side. Hitchcock, kind of a mistake to switch off with that half on the right side. And second to go in the third. We're gonna have free wrestling. As time expires in the third, Hitchcock couldn't hold on. Pena got around in our 130 pound final, the junior division. Hitchcock in the blue, Pena in the red. Hitchcock controlling the wrist here from the left side. From Hitchcock. Hitchcock with that front head now. It looks like they were close to out of bounds. Both coaches talking to each other. Hitchcock wants the two. Look over at coaches, challenge that. I got the two. The coach is like, well, it's pretty close. The ref's talking. Excuse me, the coach talking to Hitchcock. You want a challenge, we throw this brick. We lose this challenge, you lose, and it's over. That is the risk you have of challenging. So they are using the freestyle rules for challenging. If you lose a challenge, you lose a point. And there is a fireman's attempt there by Pena. Kelly to a fireman's, no points given yet, and there's the points. And they're gonna look, time expired. They gave it, they gave two, but time was running running out. This coach is going to challenge this if they do turn two. They're gonna take a look at this. Time was expiring. They're waving it off and not giving any points. But they are going to possibly look at this. They're gonna take a look and see, was this takedown with time still on the clock? Or was this takedown when zeros were on the clock? Still looking to see if time was on the clock and if it is two. Head official coming over to take a look at things. A 
And they're going to give it to a time on the clock. Pena will come away with the stop sign in dramatic fashion with two. Angelina Pena from Michigan, your champion at 130 pounds. We'll take a break, we'll be back here for 130.